Hey there guys, how's it going? So version 2.5.0 is out, it's a brand new month full of brand new content, but forget about all of that, who cares? What I'm most interested in is the fact that we finally have the pull rates confirmed in our version of the game. So if you go into the shop and you look under draw odds, you'll find this menu right here. This lists out every single medal in the entire game and what your chances are of obtaining them in any random pool. Uh, so straight away we know when we do a pool like this, we're going to get one guaranteed premium and five sorry, nine, five star or above. So now we can see the exact breakdown of how likely each of these scenarios are to happen. So let's pull up, oops, sorry, <clears throat> click the wrong side. <laughs> I have to get used to that. Okay, so what it's basically saying here is there is a general set of medals, which is the other nine guaranteed to be five star or above, and the one guaranteed that is guaranteed to be a premium. So the breakdown is it lists out the general ones first, and for all of those nine slots, each of those nine medals that you pull follow these rules basically. So it's really really interesting, it looks like we have a 5% chance of getting a premium, so that means that out of the 9 medals that you're going to pull, there's a 1 in 20 chance that that's going to be a premium, which is pretty good odds, it means that just over 2 pulls, sorry if you do just over 2 pulls, um, you should expect to, sorry, you should expect to see a premium every 2 and a bit pulls basically, which it's not that bad, <laughs> it's really not that bad at all. Um, I mean, a lot of us probably expected it to be maybe a little bit lower, but this seems pretty good. Um, and then it breaks down exactly what the odds of that are. So the first time you see all the premiums listed here, that is all the medals 4 star or above, that's talking about the general slot, that's talking about any of the other 9 slots, here are the odds of grabbing it. So as you can see, these all come with 0 dots, so there's no breakdown of the individual likelihood of getting 1 or 2 or 3 dots. Um, it just means zero, 0 here means 0 dots. So if we add up every single one of these probabilities, so we add, um, at, at, we calculated last time that there were 78 premiums and that's actually spot on. So if we take 78 premiums and times it by a 0 0.05 chance, that adds up to, up, adds up to a 3.9% chance in total. And if we add to that the combined 1% from the 0.5% chance of getting either Illustrator Xion EX or HD Axel, that's another 1% for a total of 49 and if we add on this final little bit here of the odds of getting a boosted copy of either Illustrated Xion or HD Axel, this entire list right here, this entire list, if you add up all the numbers here, that adds up to the 5% that we see right there. So the math actually checks out and it's really, really, it's actually amazingly how beautiful the numbers have worked out for this time. I wouldn't expect it to be this nice every single time, especially as we get more premiums added into the game. Um, they will never look this pretty again, I doubt it, but um, it's worked out very nicely for the first time. And um, obviously the rest is broken up into uh, the likelihood of getting a 5 star is 95%, which is if you combine every single other percentage here, um, which is only going to be for the 5 stars. If we go into the 4 star table, it should be completely empty because in our version, we will never see a 4 star or a 3 star for that matter appearing in any of our pools, right? So every single medal in the game that is possible to be pulled is listed here, but there's just like no chance of getting a 4 star or even a 3 star for that matter. So... It's pretty cool to finally see this broken down. So that's the so that is the slots that aren't guaranteed to give us a premium. So what about the ones that are guaranteed to give us a premium? Well, if we go and have a peek there, we can see that in the guaranteed slot, so one of those slots is guaranteed to give us a six star, right? Which we know that. So what are the breakdown here? Okay, well, this is very, very interesting. So every single premium, again, apparently has an even weighting, right down from the shittiest tier four up to the currently best tier seven. Every single premium appears to have an even weighting, which some people didn't think that was true. Some people th thought it was weighted more towards the you know tier four end. Some people thought it was weighted more towards the tier six or tier seven. Apparently, it's just been luck. Apparently, the entire time it's just been luck. And I mean, you may have an experience different to other players, but if we take every single person's pull in the entire game and average them out, it should work out that every single premium has appeared as evenly as any other one, which is. It's pretty crazy. Um, so I actually made a spreadsheet a couple of days ago talking about how likely it was to pull a tier four or a tier five or a six or a seven in each of the pools. And well, it's apparently completely correct. So <laughs> there is a completely even weighting. Um, so if you're curious what it would be like to remove tier fours from the pool system, um, I can, well, I'll link that spreadsheet again for one more time and you guys can have a peek at that as to what the effect of removing tier fours would be. But anyway, let's have a look. So if we do the math right here, Okay, so let's say any given premium, and we use Sephiroth as our example right here, any given premium is going to have the same amount of uh, percentage listed right here. So to get a one dot copy of the medal, it's going to be a 0.63316% chance, and you can read the rest, two dots, a 0.379, 
three dots, uh, 0.253. If we add those three numbers up, we get a combined total of 1.266%. So basically the chance of getting any one random premium off that guaranteed premium slot is 1.266%. Um, obviously, if you're aiming for a particular premium and you're like, oh, I'll just do a pull on the falling price deal and try and get that one premium. Like, let's say, let's say you're one dot away from guilting, you know, Illustrated Iron, for example, just because I, I happen to hit him. If you're one dot away from guilting him and you're like, oh, I'll do a, fall, a pull on the falling price deal, maybe I'll get him. You can do that, but just be aware the odds of getting him as your guaranteed premium is 1.266%, just like every other premium in the game. That's why I say it's very, very, it's not an efficient way of pulling if you're trying to guilt medals, because the chance of getting the ones that you already have there's a chance, right? But it's just a very, very, very low chance compared to a fixed banner with a very, very, with a much smaller window of uh, pullable medals inside it. Um, so again, if we add up every single number in this list, and believing I did the math, it's 78 copies times by that 1.266%, um, adds up to 98.773. And then if we add on the final little bit of percentage here, which is given to us by uh, Illustrated Shion's normal and booster percentage plus HD Axel's normal and booster percentage, it adds up to 99.99%, so pretty accurate, I'd say. I'd say it's pretty accurate. But it's interesting, isn't it? It's, um, uh, off any one guaranteed pool, it's just, it's about half as likely to get the two new premiums as it would be to get anything else. And judging off the pools that I've seen people posting, I've seen people having pretty good luck, so I guess it's just selective... It's always the danger, right? Whenever you look at people's pools online, people will always share the amazing pools they got. Hey, I got a copy of Axel and Xion in the same pool. Hey, I got two Xions in the same pool. People will always share those, but they won't pull, hey, I got my fifth boss, boss Marluxia. They're not going to share that. So um, at least now we can be de definitely, definitely sure before we go ahead and pull, what are the odds of getting each premium? And what are the odds of getting the banner premium? This is why I avoid EX ma ma banners like the plague, because let's say we do five pools off a banner like this, we can't afford the mercy, then this is such a tiny little chance of actually getting the thing that you want. And again, people will post online saying they got lucky, they got it within two pulls, they got it within three pulls, but that's just what it is. It's just good luck. And I mean, I know myself personally, I stay, stay away from EX banners for exactly this reason, because I don't have the jewels to back up the luck. <laughs> um, but yeah, really cool guys. If you want any more explanation of the difference um, of the pull rates and what this means to the game, Definitely leave a comment and we can talk about it, but yeah, it's really cool that we finally have this in. It's a bit of a shame that it took lore to bring it into the game, but, or at, at the very least, like Apple terms and conditions, but I'm happy it's here, I'm happy, and obviously it's going to stay. Um, are you guys excited? Does it affect you at all? Are you just like, whatever, I'm going to keep pulling regardless, or I don't know, will this affect your game at all? I'm, I am genuinely curious, but all the best guys, I'll catch you later. Catch ya.